A brother says, what is the punishment if people soil their clothes or body while urinating? Now, this is what the Prophet wasallam warned the Muslims from. It was reported in an authentic hadith while the Prophet ﷺ was walking with some of his companions, they passed by two graves. And the Prophet said ﷺ, these dead people are being tormented in the graves over something that is not big. By Allah, it is big. Meaning that leaving that sin was not a big issue. But the sin itself was really big, major. And he said about one of them, he did not protect himself from urine. Meaning that when he urinated, he did not do what was needed to ensure that the urine does not uh, uh, deflect back on his clothes, his body, or himself. And this is why he's being tormented in the grave, which means that soiling yourself, your clothes, not washing yourself after urinating or purifying yourself with tissue is a cause of torment in the grave. Why? Because this renders your prayer as invalid. If you are in such a state of impurity, you perform wudu and you pray, your prayer is not valid. It's rejected. Because one of the conditions of prayer is to be in a pure state. And not to have any impurity on your body, on your clothes, or on the spot you're praying on. Therefore, the torment of the grave is caused by this. And this means that people should be careful when they relieve themselves and to ensure that there are no impurity on their body due to urinating, defecating, or anything else. We, we see people dealing with dogs affectionately. And they love their dogs, they cuddle them, and the dogs lick their faces, their clothes, and then they go and pray. Their prayer is invalid, and definitely they will be tormented in their graves because of this sin. Similarly, because it's the same concept, praying without being in the state of purity. In addition to what will happen to them of losing the reward every single day, a carrot of good deeds. And the Prophet explained to us, a carrot of good deeds is equivalent to the weight of Mount Uhud, of good deeds every single day, because you are raising a, a dog in your house. So people can't comprehend this, or don't want to, or don't want to learn about this, because they don't read the Quran, they don't read the Sunnah of the Prophet, they don't read books of fiqh, they don't have time for that. They're spending time watching their movies and enjoying life, which would end soon. And then in their grave, may Allah protect us all, they will see what they were missing.